If someone will force me to choose just one skincare, which would be cruel, to use for the rest of my life, I would choose sunscreen or sunblock in a heartbeat. Hello everyone, hello world, this is me again, your flight attendant crazy, and yesterday I'm back for another video. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. But before that, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell button as well so you'll get notified on my next video just like this one. So for today's video guys, we're going to be talking about why we need to wear sunscreen or what is the importance of wearing sunscreen and what are my top favorite or current favorite sunscreen brands. So moving on forward, first reason is it prevents sunburn. Exposing yourself to prevent UV rays without protection can result to a very painful sunburn. So that's the first reason. Second reason is anti-aging. Wearing sunscreen reduces the signs of aging. The, we all know that the sun is the number one that damages the skin and causes premature aging. Third reason is uh, reduces the appearance of dark spots, or I would say sunspot. And number four, or the main reason for us to be wearing sunscreen, is it prevents the cause of skin cancer. So, so I highly recommend wearing sunscreen. Looking down further, there are two types of UV rays. We have the UVA and the UVB, which means ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B. Ultraviolet A is the one that causes um, skin aging, hyperpigmentation, and premature uh, aging. While the ultraviolet B is the main cause of sunburn, blisters, and damage. And we also have two types of sunscreen. This is the chemical sunscreen, and the mineral or physical sunscreen, which both sunscreen can protect you from the sun, but it just have a different ways and different ingredients. Chemical sunscreen, it absorbs the sunlight. It's effective after 20 minutes of putting it into your skin before you can go to the sun. And it's also, I would say, a higher risk of irritation because of its ingredients. And it doesn't have a white, it doesn't have a white cast and it's affordable. While for the mineral sunscreen or physical sunscreen, it's a barrier on top of your skin that the UV rays bounces off. So mineral-based ingredient sunscreen, it's effective by the moment you put on that sunscreen. It's a lesser skin uh, cause of irritation. It's a little bit more expensive because of its ingredients and it's recommended for sensitive skin. But physical sunscreen, I would say it has a white cast. Most of the physical or mineral sunscreen has a white cast. For the SPF or the sun protection factor, which is the PA++++, which is the protection rate that's for the UVA, while the SPF is for the protection grade for the UVB. I highly recommend that if you buy or choose your sunscreen for yourself, you choose the one that has SPF, uh, SPF plus, PA plus, 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 plus. So, yeah. Now, moving on to my favorite sunscreen, which I'm going to try to break down according to finish, filters, formulation, foundation wear, and fragrance. So, I'm going to do it according to how I rank it. Number one for me is this Anessa Whitening UV Sunscreen Gel SPF 50 Plus PA++++, which is a physical sunscreen. I am so with this sunscreen nowadays. I really like it because it has a powerful UV protection with brightening at the same time. It's also moisturizing skincare formula. It's a very dewy, smooth texture with refreshing and hydrating finish. So this one, I use it every day, most especially if I go to work. So yeah, if you can see, it smells so good. To be honest, this is the only sunscreen that I can wear without any skincare. So because it's made of 50% skincare ingredients, it has hyaluronic acid, it has an m tranosamic acid that brightens your skin and suppresses melanin generation 
and thereby prevents sunspots and freckles as well. Also have a glycerizic acid salt, which prevents skin from roughness. Aside from that, it also have a soluble collagen glycerin, which is one of my favorite in my uh, skincare and it has a hydrogenated castor oil and hyaluronic acid and it's all like mostly a plant-based sunscreen that's it. this is waterproof the good thing about this is even if it's made of plant-based plant-based ingredients it is a waterproof but it's also easily removable or washable with uh, facial facial wash it's good for all skin types and yeah, it's all made of uh, nice, very nice ingredients. And I noticed when I was wearing this sunscreen frequently, after wearing uh, Cetaphil for so long, this is one of the, I would say, most sunscreen that I wear nowadays, I noticed that my hyperpigmentation lightens. So I don't yung mga dark spots ko because you know I am based in the Middle East so the hot sun can really get hot and humid so yeah, I don't have it, it's light actually so this is my current favorite sunscreen and the first three sunscreen that I am mentioning about is all uh, from J Beauty or G or Japanese skincare sunscreen the second sunscreen that I really love nowadays is this Isaihan Kiss Me Sun Killer Perfect Water Essence. Can you guys see? It's similar to Beauty Water Essence. This is a this is a chemical sunscreen that is also a SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. Uh, this sunscreen is not sticky at all. It has a light essence and citrus scents. It just smells wonderful. So if you see, actually, this is, it just, I don't know, it just smells fresh lemon in it. And it's really light, like, it's it's really light like a milk. Mm, look at that. So this is a Japanese gel type sunscreen formulated with 86% of hydrating components and 0% of alcohol. It has three kinds of hyaluronic acid and it has three kinds of natural moisturizing components which are royal jelly, aloe vera, and saxifrage extract that are blended. This is also good for the face and for the body. This is a sebum resistant. It's a, it can also be a makeup base and it's very easy to remove as well with a face wash. So this is my second favorite sunscreen. Third favorite sunscreen, which is very good for the athlete out there who is uh, always under the sun and who sweats a lot, is this is Beauty UV Atlas. This has two types, which is the Protect Essence and Protect uh, Skin Milk. So I have the Skin Protect Essence. This is another SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. A moist touch essence with watery base and it's a fresh texture on the skin and velvety smooth sensation confirmed to stay on a very hot and humid condition weather it's a long lasting tough boost technology provides strong resistance against perspiration and chaffing it's a uh, super waterproof but the good thing about it, it's a super waterproof for at least 80 minutes but the good thing about this as well is also uh, easily wash off when you use it with facial wash right here so yeah it's very light it's very easy to use so yeah there it's very very light and it's not sticky at all it's not sticky at all and it prevents the skin from dryness because it has again it has a hyaluronic acid it has such a it has a royal jelly extract and BGC, which is another moisturizing ingredient. And it's, it can also be a makeup base. A claim to be uh, formulated to uh, prevent uh, acne condition because it's uh, non comedogenic as well, which is mostly the dermatologist recommends. And I would say. For the scent, it has a white floral scent because it's made from all natural ingredients. So that is my third one. 
For my K-Beauty products, I don't normally go for what is hype in the market. Instead, I check on the formulation, I check on the ingredients, I check on the company profile. So that's how I check my K-Beauty because there's a lot of K-Beauty out there and it all claims to be very nice. So all the K-Beauty that I've been using is tried a uh, safe and effective is the Ruvictin. The Ruvictin products are really safe because it claims to be products are made for supposed to be cancer patients but I'm not sure if I read that right but I read an article about that that the Ruvictin products are made uh, very fragrance free and I would say very very safe for most especially for those with cancer cancer condition. The product that I really want from them is uh, I think I saw I show you in my previous vlog as well the essential uh, uh, lotion or their essence toner that's uh, the gateway to the Ruvictin product because it's really really good and the second one from the Ruvictin is this Ruvictin Aqua Soothing UV Protector SPF 50 plus plus PA plus 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 which is a mineral or physical sunscreen so it is suitable for all skin types it's very uh, gentle it's subtle it has a floral uh, it has a floral scent that uh, it quickly goes away when you uh, put it in your skin it's creamier and smooth uh, in the skin as well when you it is formulated with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide uh, it is formulated with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide which completely defends our skin against daily free radical damage so it is hydrating and helps brighten your skin at the same time while improving the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines so for those people who are very fan of skincare that prevents wrinkles and fine lines just like me this is the skincare for you guys try this it's really good as well so the other ingredients of this is like mostly plant-based as well like apple leaf extract uh, centella asiatica sunflower seed i uh, mean it also have a niacinamide and it claims to form a barrier on the skin to protect it from fine dust and other harmful pollutants in the environment through their patented pollution ingredients so this is one very good sunscreen as well sunscreen for me from the k-beauty is this Allo Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 by Cosar X it's a chemical sunscreen. We all we all know that Cosar X derived from the word cosmetics and prescriptions. It claimed that the cosmetics should not only good from the outside, but it should also good from the inside. So this sunscreen is formulated with aloe arborescence leaf extract that soothes and moisturizes skin at the same time. It is a lightweight and moisturizing texture while it soothes the skin at the same time. So it's a both nourishing and protective your skin at the same time it doesn't have a white cast uh, it's vegan and it's cruelty free it's for all skin types and uh, most especially for a sensitive skin out there. It, it has a light floral fragrance that easily goes away so this is the aloe soothing sunscreen third one or the last but not the least from my k beauty sunscreen is Rovictin double tone up uv protectors spf 50 plus PA++++ which is another mineral or physical sunscreen. This sunscreen is all-in-one sunscreen. It has anti-aging cream and, and skin brightener at the same time. It's an anti-aging cream and screen brightener. This is hypoallergenic sunscreen and it comes it's it comes into a pinkish color that leaves a matte finish to the skin and can also be used as a primer or actually can it can also be used as just a foundation that's it if you don't want to wear a heavy makeup this one is gonna be enough that the pink or the beige formula of this helps to, uh, to brighten your skin while improving the appearance of again wrinkles and fine lines the only thing with this for me is that's why i'm putting it last on my list is i just i don't know the smell for me is it's a bit strong but it easily goes away <laughs> It's just like I'm a bit disturbed with the smell once I put it in my skin. But again, it easily goes away. So I'm still putting it in my, I would say, top um, top selection of sunscreen because of the very good uh, components of it. So that's my uh, last 
K-Beauty uh, skincare sunscreen. And then of course, if we have a skincare a sunscreen for our face and body, which I've already showed you, how about for our hair, right? So I got this Ichikami. This is another favorite um, Japanese uh, hair styling and UV protection sunscreen for the hair. Well, it says styling and care. This is really good because uh, I use it most of the time for styling my hair to keep it tidy. And at the same time, it's really good to protect my hair. Also. Of course, to protect also my hair from the UV, uh, UV rays and styling my hair at the same time to keep it neat and tidy for work. It smells so good. It smells like a cherry blossom flower. It's so fresh. It's also best after hair drying your hair using iron or curlers, you know, like if your hair is too tortured from all those uh, gadgets, hair gadgets, this is really good to like freshen up your hair. So for my hair, and last but not the least is for my lips. So how about the SPF for our lips? Got this melting lip cream in matcha which i have another one at home i left it at home because i am in africa now anyways chain honey and this matcha this has spf 25 and it's just a smooth and you know this one smells so good it smells matcha like really matcha in it so it's like eating it's like eating the rose chocolate matcha you know so i just like this it's just very creamy hydrating at the same time and it's also good that it has spf in it so that's it for today's video guys i hope you like this video and if you guys have any uh, sunscreen favorite to share or to recommend please comment down below i want to know and yeah let's have a nice skin let's maintain our youthful glow and let's protect our skin from the damage of the sun so yeah that's it for today's video guys and i'll see you guys in our next video bye for now stay gorgeous stay safe wherever you are bye